My name is Ruben and in this video I will guide you through all the details of the new Madonna V3. The previous iteration, the Madonna V2.2, has been around for a while. We've taken our time to carefully decide on what we wanted to improve for the Madonna V3. The V3 is based around 29 inch wheels or a mullet setup and comes with 160 millimeters of travel in the back and 170 in front. It's a very capable and balanced bike down the trails, but also loves the climbs. We've certainly not lost our focus on durability, but we've added adjustability to make it even more versatile. We offer the V3 in five different sizes, from size small with a 430 mm reach up to the double XL with 530 mm of reach. The rear end grows with the frame sizes as well as the seat tubes and head tubes. And we've got a 64 degree head angle. So far, those are only minor changes compared to its predecessor. But we've added a ton of adjustability. The toolbox concept from our Yala downhill bike now finds its way into the Madonna. We use the exact same lower shock mount from the Yala on the Madonna to adjust the BB height by 3mm up or down and also offer progression adjustment for the suspension. The rear wheel axle comes in the mid position and can go 5mm shorter or longer with different axles. The last adjustability the bike offers lies in the 56mm head tube. The extra space on the top headset allows for head angle adjustment with headsets from Works components. Those are available from our shop. All the adjustments allow you to find your perfect setup or simply learn from changes. But it is very important to us that the mid settings out of the box are what we recommend. And if you just want to ride your bike, there is nothing for you to worry about. The Madonna V3 still uses a four bar rocker link suspension layout, but we've repositioned all pivots and achieved an even more predictable and capable rear end. The initial bit of travel is super sensitive and makes for a buttery smooth first contact with the ground. We offer two rocker links, the Rocker 60 being best for riders under 90 kilograms and the Rocker 65 best for riders over 90 kilograms. Both rocker links offer 160 millimeters of travel at the rear wheel and a similar progression number. We have developed tunes with Fox and Olins for both air and coil shocks and paired a 160 mm of travel with a 170 mm fork on front. What seems to be such a simple thing tends to be overlooked. Cable routing. From the beginning of the development process, we've aimed for the smoothest and simplest external cable routing we could make. It's not only very easy to assemble, but the lack of small bands on the gear cable means that we've got mechanical shifting working super smoothly. With the current trend of gear cables being routed through headsets, stems and the frame, we were very eager to show what a regular mechanical SRAM GX or Shimano XT drivetrain can do in terms of shifting performance. But the bolt-on cable guides also allow for very clean routing in case you go electric on the shifting. There are a lot of details in the design of the hardware that we've worked on in the past years and can now be found in the Madonna V3. The main pivot and rocker pivot now feature wider bearings and axles that run directly through the bearings. The design helps avoid noises and keeps things quiet on your bike for a very long period of time before it needs some love. The ICG mount is now removable and leaves the option of running a chain guide or having a clean design up to you. Which leads us to the tubing of the frame. The down tube is new and comes with improved clearance for pretty much all shocks we are aware of. The head tube with the CNC machine raw logo obviously also is a new addition. But we've also worked on all forging parts connecting the tubes. They are reduced in size, saving weight and making for cleaner looks. As sturdy as an aluminium frame might be, it's good to anticipate on things like flying rocks and rubbing heels. The down tube protector covers the full width and is 5mm thick to absorb impacts before the tube would have to. The chainstay protector now integrates the gear cable routing and offers protection on the downside for chain slap. It also wraps around the tube to avoid your heel rubbing against the frame. The Madonna V3 can also be configured with seat states that fit UDH and the SRAM transmission drivetrains. The UDH option comes with a regular DT Swiss X12 axle and only offers the mid position for the chainstay length. 
We would like you to think that there is not much design on the Madonna. We want our bikes to look like it all just makes sense. Nothing out of place and everything visually working together. We have given the Madonna V3 a more aggressive look with a lower top tube, smaller rocker link and a tucked in down tube, which we think works very well in all sizes from small to double XL. A last detail on the Madonna is the compatibility with dual crown forks. A 170mm single crown fork is our first recommendation, but we wanted to also offer DC fork compatibility. The fork bumpers from the Yala can also be used on the Madonna V3, and the frame has been tested with forks up to 598mm of axle to crown. That's it for now. I hope this video helped with learning about what went into the Madonna V3. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out or visit our website for all details.